accommodations were you most interested in? I said, uh, what accommodations were you most interested in? Yeah. Oh, I get lost in space from time to time as well. It's okay. You don't need to feel overwhelmed. We've got this. Okay? Let me get your name. Just want to create a profile. It's also very helpful for us to track the things that are most important for you so that we are always amplifying our community and giving people the things that they need to feel like home. Yes, so we do have complimentary biscuits. Mm -hmm. And Capri Sun packs. Yes, you can take as many as you want. There's no limit. There's always more Capri Sun in the cooler in the back. Okay, so your name again? And if you are comfortable with it, may I have your last name. We can skip that if you want, though. Okay. Thank you for spelling that out, because I would have absolutely spelled that so very wrong. <laughs> prefer mouse to this laptop pad here. So, how are you holding up with this February heat? Mm. Very important to stay hydrated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my sister actually sells supplements for hydration, so um, I kind of get a really good deal on those, and the only problem is if you don't drink it straight away, it gets very thick. And uh, quite frankly, undrinkable. This is just water. I don't, I don't mess with her stuff anymore. So, anyways. Um, I am so sorry. This is, um, our system. We just got started on another one, and it's running a little bit slow. It's gonna be okay. We just have to kind of work through our bugs and, um, will be ship shape. While I kind of wait for that to catch up, I want to go ahead and let you know of all of the amenities that we do currently have. So, we do have three pools within our community. Okay. So two are very family friendly. Enormous pools, jacuzzi on the side, and plenty of seating all around. There are a couple of grills about 50 feet away from the entrance gates. Now, our third pool is specifically um, excluding one type of person, which is a child. 
So children are not allowed in this third pool. This is simply not a punishment. This is for adults that maybe don't have kids and aren't so fond of lots of rambunctious sounds like that. Uh, I think sometimes people who don't have kids are very uncomfortable being around a very family-friendly scene. So we do have that option. You're wanting something a little bit more quiet. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, so I, I find that very cool, very different. We do have two tennis courts. Um, one children are allowed in. Uh, of course, they're not allowed to be there without parents with them. And then one excluding children. So, mm -hmm. that's going to be 17 and younger, not allowed 18. Um, they can hang out at whatever pool, whatever tennis court uh, they choose to. So we also have not one gym, but two gyms, but we've stacked them on top of each other. So it's really just a two-story gym, mm -hmm. but it has the same amount of equipment on level two as level one. Mm -hmm. And so you would get an access card that you would in, and it would let you in. Mm -hmm. It is complimentary, so there's no monthly fee, nothing of that nature. So it's free for anyone to use any time of day. We do have 24 hour surveillance going on. Mm -hmm. And we do also have on-site security. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So all of our apartments get their carpets completely redone in the bedroom. We do keep carpet in the bedroom and everything else is vinyl flooring. Sometimes we do let the renter decide if we are replacing the vinyl when they happen to be scheduling a move-in date. So that's very, very exciting. Not every apartment is the same. And these are things that we like to think make your apartment feel like home you want to stay for a while. Yes. So we actually don't raise the rent annually when you move in. That is the rate that you will be paying for however long you decide to stay. Mm -hmm. I actually do live on site. So I must say, I am a huge fan of that, but if I were to get let go, I would need to um, pay the full price. I do get discount, discounted rates. So, I mean, that's just something for me to think about. Okay, so it is back up. So tell me what things you are looking for. Okay. 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 Oh, we have that. Cool. Okay. Um. <laughs> We actually do have a little community gardening section, so 
you would be able to sign up and join and basically those people a part of this group would take turns taking care of the crops and then the crops are actually divvied up between everyone that's a part of it. It's very, very cool. The tomatoes are... I hear they're delicious. They won't let me try one because I'm not a part of that community. So, uh -huh. yes, it would be so cool to, to join. Mm. Okay. Anything else that's just really, really important to you? Okay. You know what? Let me see. Can I get your work address? Are you in person or work from home? A bit of a hybrid? Okay. Well then, definitely check out the location. What is your work address? Okay. In that location or the downtown? Okay. Okay, so it does say that you are 30 minutes away. Um, from this location to your job. Is that an appropriate drive for you? I have also set um, this time to peak traffic hours. So obviously, I don't know what your hours are, but um, so this is the longest amount of time it would take for you to drive from here to your place of work. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's extremely uh, doable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of my friends actually drive between 45 minutes to one hour to their place of work. Oh. Oh, that highway, it's awful. Oh. I will do anything not to get on that highway. Mm -hmm. Back roads all the way. Even if it takes the same amount of time. No, you can't pay me to drive on that highway. Okay. Yeah, so this one, this route actually doesn't require driving that way. So, yeah, very cool. Understand. Let's see. I do have a couple of floor plans to go over. Um, how many bedrooms are you interested in? So you're kind of open to anything. Is that right? Are you considering moving in with a roommate, maybe a spouse, partner, anything like that? Is it just going to be you? Depends on pricing, floor plan, all that stuff. I completely understand. Okay. And I promise we can get that all figured out for you by the time we're done here. So I would like to simply just start off by showing you the most popular floor plan. Alright. So here is one of our most popular floor plans. It is a one-bedroom. 
bedroom apartment, but not studio. There are walls, okay? So we would come in to the apartment through this door and immediately we have a dining area with an open kitchen concept and we have a living room 13 feet by 13 feet and a bedroom off to the side and something a little interesting about this floor plan is that we have an open concept closet so we would have closeted space here closeted space here and through there we have a bathroom so if you are someone who has lots of guests coming over to your house you should think about if you're comfortable with them walking through the dining room living room bedroom open closet area all the way to your bathroom if this journey would be okay with you. Okay. So there you go. That's kind of uh, what we have going on. So we do have washer and dryer connections. They will be outside on the balcony in the utility closet right outside. Mm-hmm. That's a great question. So the washer and dryer do come with the apartment. There are no additional fees. You're not doing a separate rent for the washer and dryer. Um, the only thing is that we do run maintenance on them annually. So, um, just once a year, we would need our maintenance crew to make sure there's no mold growing, that the drums are rotating properly, that there's no leakage. If any hoses need to be replaced, they'll be replaced. Of course, if either the washer or the dryer are not functioning properly and it can't be fixed, we replace it. Okay. All right. Um, so that was 1A. What did you think of that one? Okay. So not a fan of having the, the guests walk through completely understand. Um, I don't really trust all of my guests to not rifle through my things. Anyways, let's go. I, yes, currently we do have a, another one bedroom apartment here, which I would be so very happy to show you. This one is not as popular, but um, I'm not quite sure why, because this is the floor plan that I live in. So, you would come in to the apartment through this door, and immediately to your left, be greeted by the kitchen that is a, a C shape. Okay. And then we have a beautiful living room. This living room is slightly smaller than the living room of the first apartment that I showed you. Okay. And then 
on, we do have washer and dryer connections inside and it is in sort of a saloon type setting so there's no doors but there's um, saloon swinging doors which can be removed if you like we just ask that uh, you contact our maintenance and they take care of that for you okay okay good then we have a closet here i'm getting ahead of myself this hall we have the bathroom so if you had a guest they needed to use the restroom they could just walk back here without rooting around okay um the only downside to this is you sleep here so if you have to go to the bathroom you would need to leave your bedroom and go to the bathroom not a big deal right mm -hmm. so i know we have a bathtub icon here but we actually don't have any bathtubs in our complex it is only stand-up showers so no baths unfortunately mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah that's a great question it's a lot of um water waste to take a bath so we highly advise against doing something like that um and actually if someone's been taking a shower for over one hour the water does get automatically shut off <laughs> We actually discovered that lots of people who had their water running for over an hour were um, deceased. So. so yeah, all about water conservation. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, we do have emergency contacts for any sort of um, notifications like that. So, if you are worried um, about your water being on for that amount of time, it would generate a notification and, and send it to whoever you want it. So, for example, you could have it set up to your mom's phone number. And if you fell asleep in the stand-up shower for over an hour, she would get notified of that. Okay. Thoughts? Thoughts on this? Okay, so... Alright. Three bedrooms. So, this is just the biggest, you want to see the biggest, baddest three-bedroom floor plan. Okay. So, really, we only have one floor plan for three-bedroom. Incredibly spacious. One bedroom is slightly bigger than the others, but only slightly. It's not. Okay. So this would be perfect for a living situation where you are living with roommates. Mm -hmm. Or or just a lot of people. Okay. Alrighty, so here you would enter the home 
and you would immediately be in the dining room. What the heck is this? And so we do have our washer dryer hookup connections and appliances here. You would walk through this dining room and then you would be in the kitchen. So now this is quite open here. So you would just take a turn and then you would be in the living room. We have one bathroom right here. So for this bedroom, um, you do have a closet and you do have an exit to the patio. Okay, and your bathroom is just right outside of your bedroom. Now for bedroom number two, you also do have access to the patio. It doesn't show a door, but we did recently go through and install doors for bedroom number two for everyone with this floor plan. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then obviously in the living room we have sliding glass doors that open up to the balcony. Okay. And there's another bathroom here that would be shared with... So honestly, whoever is putting forth the most effort to get the apartment, I think you'd want that one so that you don't really need to share with anybody. And um, yes, so that's a really, really good one. I'd like to also show you a two-bedroom apartment. <sighs> okay. We have our entrance. Bathroom here. Kitchen in this area. Living room. This is bedroom number two. This is bedroom number one. So there are no bathrooms um, that are inside of the bedrooms, but bedroom number two does have to walk across the hall to get to theirs, whereas bedroom number one just, you know, goes there. There are stand-up showers in both of these, so they're not half baths there full bathroom and not a fan. Okay, okay. Which floor plan were you most interested in? In the three bedroom floor plan? Good, good, good. I'm just also going to jot down a little bit of useful information for you here. So, trash is $15 a month. Okay. Water is, um, what we do is we have 
an average of how much water everyone in the community uses, and that gets divided and everyone gets built that way. We do have it set up so that no one will ever pay more than $45 a month. So if it were to exceed that, we would cover the rest, but there would be I don't want to say repercussions. There will be uh, consequences to that to make sure that we are not using a crazy amount of water. Okay? Alrighty. And then as far as electricity... That is going to be... $20 a month. So we, as you've seen, do have solar panels and they're almost fully paid off and that is the reason that we are still charging. But once um, that has been fully paid off, it is going to drop down to $5 a month and that's simply for maintenance of the upkeep of the solar panels. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. Do you have any pets? Okay. So the pet deposit is going to be one month's rent. But we actually have a special going on where if you sign a contract today, you will get first month rent free and last month rent free. So, first and last month. Okay. So I just have all of this information written down for you so you can look back on it and see how you feel. But don't take too long because this, um, this special is only good for today. So I'm going to write down the date. And I need to sign it so that I know it wasn't forged. Okay. Alrighty. So I believe that's it. Oh yes, the cost of rent. So for April 4th, let's see what the market is looking like um starting to tick up but it's not summer time costs so that's good um, let's see okay so for today, for three bedroom, it's going to be two thousand four hundred and ninety two dollars. So once again, we could get rid of the payments for the first and last month, but you do have a pet, so we would need that one month's rent up front. Um, so that's a really good question. If you decided maybe in a week that you wanted to go with this apartment, 
then it is possible that this number could change. It could actually go up or it could go it could go down. Yeah. It's mm, it's just the way that the market is. Okay. Were you interested in taking a look? Okay. I just need to see a form of ID. show that to you today because we usually schedule these as well and um, get you started on your application but we definitely want to lock everything in right now okay something I also forgot to mention is um, where there's a shared wall between you and the apartment neighboring you we do line up those walls with soft padding on your side and on their side so we like to consider this our accent wall so here is a prototype of the wall so as you can see it is very soft it's meant to absorb sound okay and it is going to be this texture and there's obviously a hard material on the back to stop the sound so we have absorption and then stopping and then drywall on the other side and you get that on both sides so truly our complaints are so minimal when it comes to noise you are going to love it so we either have this pink color and if you don't like pink we have this red color they're very vibrant and they say a lot so they didn't make a prototype of this soft material in red but they did get me this box, this would be the very color and it would have the same texture which would you prefer? okay yeah good, good okay and actually for that apartment they currently have a blue velvet color did you want that replaced or keep it? keep it? okay we can keep it and I want to keep it 
kita aksen U. Okay, and I will check mark that. Okay, and let me get your email. Dot last name, right? So I've just emailed you the application. You do have eight hours to complete it, send it back, and we will get everything processed. Um, <clears throat> you can pay for the application fee through the app as well, or we can just roll it in to your move-in cost. Okay. Okay, good. So, before you go, I want to send you out with a gift. Yeah. So, we have these incense cones, and this one, we ran out of all the other scents, but we have jasmine. So, it's got cork top. Good. And of course, if you don't like it, you can re-gift to whoever you want. Personally, I love it. I love it. We currently have this scent going on, but um, this is my go-to. Okay. And then we also are giving out this candle today. This is by Red Leaf Home. So it's got a nice wood top with a blend of fur needle, amber, and wood with a hint of mint scent. It's very earthy. I'm gonna wrap these up for you, okay? And while I'm doing that, we do always offer a celebratory glass of wine to our new renters. So, as you can see, we did already have someone sign up. You're not allergic to rosé, are you? Okay. Let's see. So this one is a Central Coast 2021 rosé. Known as one of the best left breaks in the world, the Mondaco Wave in the northern Spain is legendary for amazing long rides. Our rosé captures the rush of the epic break with crisp notes of juicy strawberry, watermelon, and tart cherry. So, it is sustainably sourced, vegan-friendly, naturally gluten-free, okay, and it is a medium-bodied rosé wine. I think you'll enjoy it. it. Smells really good too. Mm. And don't worry um, about finishing it. You don't have to. I will drink whatever you don't finish. Okay, just put that right there. We go ahead and
I don't have any more bags and I was told to only use one of these for protection to not be wasteful so I cannot wait to hear back from you and thank you so much for spending this wonderful weekend day with me okay alrighty well I'll go ahead and let you know if your application was approved or denied um, probably within the next 24 hours okay okay all right well I can't wait to be your neighbor all right Bye now.